Happy New Year, guys. I know what you're thinking. We are in the ending of Feb, or the 1st of March even, because that's when this video is gonna drop. How is she making a New Year's video? Honey, I have restarted this year so many times. I had an amazing 2016, and my expectations for 2017 were up. They weren't even up here, they were here, out of frame. That's how, <laughs> that's how <laughs> amazing. I was expecting the beginning of 2017 to be for me. I was thinking, yes. I've got everything in order. I'm getting my coin. I've started my business. My circle's 30. 2017 is going to be popping. And then 2017 came and it was like, no. Nah. I think the reason for that is because within the first two months of the year, I had already made mistakes that I had made in previous years. And so I thought, I'm gonna restart the year. F it, a bit unconventional. Won't do the 12 month calendar. I'll change it up a bit and I'll restart my year. And I thought, well, if I'm gonna restart my year, I don't wanna F it up. So I sat down and I thought about things that would be my main point of focus for my new year and I'm sharing it with you guys now. I've defined and planned out goals. I think we all do this thing at the beginning of the year where we make like a list of resolutions. I start going to the gym, I want to lose weight, I want to put on weight, I want to be hencher, I want to be buffer, I want to glow, I want to get my money up. But what we don't realise is that this list without actually planning anything behind it, without putting an action plan behind it, is literally wishful wee fee 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 Just having a goal isn't actually enough to achieve it. So be intentional about the things that you want to achieve. Sit down and assess how you're gonna make these things that you want to do actually come into formation. Cut out negativity. This is not, and when I say this is not, this is not a promotion of heartlessness and this is not a promotion of being a savvy. This is promoting removal of negative energy. I think one big mistake I've made in the past is that I've given too much attention to negative energy or negative people. What we have to remember is what you give your attention to is what manifests. Remember seeing someone tweet on Twitter, if something costs me my happiness, it's too expensive. I cannot afford it. And this is literally how we need to sort of treat negative situations or negative people in our lives. We need to actually decide, can I actually afford all the mess and all the negativity that they come along with? And if you can't... Baby girl focus as corny as this sounds baby girl focus is like the number one boss chick commandment when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing you don't get involved in situations you're not supposed to be involved in focusing is the best way to filter out i remember in a td jake sermon he said something like i could be wrong even if i'm wrong it still makes sense he said something like, God doesn't worry about anything that doesn't affect the transportation of his seed. And it just made me think, well, neither should we. Anything that doesn't really necessarily matter or make a difference to our end goal, which is basically our focus, shouldn't be anything that we worry about. I think sometimes we spend a lot of time, and I did this a lot, boy, I did this so much last year, as good as my year was, I spent a lot of time worrying about things that had absolutely nothing to do with my end goal, things that I couldn't control. Rob time off of your year by worrying about things that don't affect your end goal. Your mind needs to be set on something so hard that anything that happens around it is basically shenanigans. So baby girl, focus. Don't take everything so seriously. I feel like your attention should be given to things in appropriate measure. If you work full time, then obviously your job should be taken seriously. If you go to uni, obviously your course should be taken seriously. And if you're in school, your time in school and your private study time should be taken very seriously. But I feel like life is also to be enjoyed. Give yourself time to actually do things and experience things that you actually enjoy. Travel, go to places, find new activities, and find great people to do them with. I had one year, I think it was like 2000, 
2012, 2000 or 2013 was the most like, honestly, I didn't do anything. Nothing, I didn't travel, I didn't have fun like for the year, for the year straight. I think the most fun I had was like my birthday and maybe other people's birthdays because at the time I was studying fashion. So I was doing my fashion foundation at Ravensbourne in like next to the O2 and I was working at Victoria's Secrets at the same time and I've always been studying well, since I was 16 I've always been studying and working part-time but for some reason this one year I decided to work full-time during the summer so imagine going to doing all your terms in school or uni or what have you and then spending all your time at work during the summer it was the worst year because I actually didn't take time to leisure I spent my summer watching other people's summer that was like I missed carnival I missed carnival guys like and everyone around them times like that was when if I didn't do not one thing that summer I was I was going to carnival like that was one thing missed carnival I missed out on friends birthdays because I'd be working late or I knew that I'd be tired after work it was the worst year and what you don't want to do is look back on your year and think Rob what did I actually do what memories did I actually create and this is like so important if you're young because now's the time where you can take full advantage of not really having too many responsibilities so don't take everything too seriously. My next thing would be, don't forget your source. Like for me, my source is God. That's where I get my encouragement from. That's where I am, that's who I'm uplifted by. That's, my relationship with God is literally the be all and end all of everything I do because there were times previously in my life where I've kind, I kind of neglected that relationship with him and it ran the potential of just ruining my year. So you may encounter times where the motivation that you have within yourself to keep yourself going sometimes isn't enough. You need something to lean on or to rely on that you know will always give you what you need when you need it. So don't forget your source. Those are basically just the main things that I realized for myself, like how I kind of like messed up. <laughs> things previously in my previous years and how I kind of messed up at the beginning of this year but I had to do one of these Pull up. Pew, 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 pew. The choice FM sound effects boy or my year because I just thought my year cannot start like this and setting my year I'm starting afresh and these are a few things that I am taking into consideration when I'm gonna just start again I'm going to reset my mind back to if it were the beginning of the year and these are the things that I'm gonna focus on to make sure that my 2017 bangs 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 I hope these points help also could you guys comment below so we can maybe help each other things that you're focusing on for the year or things that you think others should focus on on the year let's create a discussion down below on pointers for the year thanks for watching